ce que j'ai là. Hein. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the meeting of Finance and General Purposes Committee, Thursday, 9th of March. Uh, can I remind you that this meeting is being recorded for publication on the Thatcham Town Council YouTube channel? Uh, Madam Clark, do we have apologies for absence? We do, Chairman. Apologies received from councillors Owen Jeffrey and David Lister. Thank you very much. Um, declarations of interest. Um, committee will note that their uh, item five uh, is for long service awards, uh, which may well apply to um, some of us around this table. Um, I have therefore taken the liberty of asking Madam Clark for her view on uh, declarations of interest and, and whether um, those who may potentially be in receipt of uh, such an award would have to declare an interest and over to Madam Clark for the answer. Chairman, I, I would advise that um, I, it wouldn't be deemed a disclosable pecuniary interest and therefore I feel that councillors should um, be able to still comment and vote on that item. Thank you for that guidance. Is it a declarable personal interest? Or to say, I, I, I was going to say that um, I'm possibly eligible simply by virtue of length of time, um, but, but uh, that's a personal interest, not a prejudicial pecuniary. I, I, th I think we still have to declare potential personal interests. Um, I still declare. Uh, but, but not uh, pecuniary, I do as well. Fair. So, uh, Councillor Jeremy Cotton. Okay, well, 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 yeah, yeah, my eventually. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> 10 years. Yeah. Um, started. Item three King Charles III coronation. Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for uh, holding this extraordinary SMGP meeting. I've got three items on the agenda. This is the first one. Uh, on the 6th of May, the coronation will take place. Uh, we don't want these to come along too often, and I'm sure there's quite a few people around the table who may not see the next one. But we need to, we, we feel in the events team and the uh, events manager, that this be commemorated in some way by the town council. That the town council set up and run an event. We talked about this at length, we started with perhaps an, being part of the big lunch and inviting older folk to come along somewhere. Uh, and we set up a, a meal. Um, quite a lot of that going on already with quite a lot of street parties. Um, and also conscious of the time. In, in many ways, with all that's been going on, the coronation has crept up on us. Mm. Um, and, and, the, and the king himself, I don't think, wants a huge fanfare, but he wants people to enjoy themselves and know the occasion. So we, we've come to you tonight recommending that we hold uh, the king's coronation garden tea party. And we hold it, I think I'm pointing the right direction, mm -hmm. on the cricket pitch yeah, behind us here under a gazebo on the afternoon of the 7th when the big lunch will be taking place that we invite, frankly, all the residents of Thatcher. Uh, we're not anticipating we need 28,000 pieces of cake, um, but we will make official invites to people who are well known and do things for the community, as well as a general invite if you'd like to come along and have tea and cake on the cricket pitch um, with the mayor and councillors, You'd be most welcome as a drop-in type of event, not to sit there for three hours, but to drop in, have a piece of cake, cup of tea, and go home or go back to a street party or whatever. That's our idea. We thought we'd maybe have a jazz band playing some music and a little bit of uh, festival um, atmosphere. And we bring that to you tonight, uh, requesting a budget of 2,000 pounds for this event. Um, and it shows the council being involved in the coronation. It has been suggested that that 2,000 would, would be available from the 7,500 pounds budget for what is now not going to take place, the freedom of the town ceremony. But it is for this committee to decide where it comes from. We are looking to run this event 
and we are looking for your support and for your money. Thank you, Mr. Mayor Leader. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, in the budget setting, I wanted to put some money aside for, for coronation events, but because of the envelope we were working in, it would have you know, uh, cost too much, to be honest with you. So the fact that we have a, another civic event fund, in effect, that, that can supplement, that you know, reduces that pressure on our budgets. Um, and I'm keen to see us market um, as a town. Obviously, again, it was something that, that we couldn't have predicted when we set the budget. You know the, the the loss of the green and and the quick coronation actually, um, you know in, in relation. So I'm I'm supportive of the idea. Thank you. Uh, any other comments, uh, Richard Foster? Then Richard. Thank you. Um, I fully support the idea, and I think the idea of a tea party is just pitches it at the right level. Um, I'd just like to ask uh, what two thousand pounds would cover. For instance, you mentioned a jazz band, which I also think would be a good idea because I think it music like that really, uh, you know, makes it an occasion to enjoy, but uh, I really don't have a feel for what you'd get for £2,000. I mean, how much does a jazz band cost and how much is, do we need to spend on food and so on? So I just wondered if there was any... Happy to come back, Chair. Sure. Yep. Uh, I think the events manager will know to the pound, but I think we're talking £1,200 for a, a band and £500 for the, the gazebo. Of that order and then £300 for the tea and cake. But we're hoping that councillors might step up and, uh, and do a bit of a bake-off um, and, and perhaps staff and, and we, you know, just make it not only bought in, but, but um, we have a bit of a cake fest as well. So we think the budget is appropriate and um, we think the gazebo important in case the weather is not kind to us. Uh, and entertainment with a three or four-piece band um, is not... Nothing. Um, people come from far and wide and we pay for their skills and talent. Unless we wish to uh, push business towards uh, Mr Patel's dental surgery, I would suggest I don't bake a cake. <laughs> I have Richard Crumley and then I have Jeremy Cotton. It's what uh, local business. Uh, uh, first of all, for my wife, my wife uh, Helen's wife, um, to come forward and bake um, cake, cake so I she just uh, loves doing that so well. Uh, I'm instructed to put her, uh, her apron, I suppose, into the ring. Perhaps that's the uh, phrase. This, frankly, to me, sounds a little on the modest side. Uh, do we have any information on what we did in 1953? Uh, did we have something similar, or did we have something more, more grandiose? Well, Chairman, we were in the realms of rationing then, so um, it wouldn't have been quite as lavish an affair as you might have, think you might remember. I, I, I remembered. <laughs> I think, as, as the mayor said, we have got a bit of a steer from the palace in terms of a modest, relatively low key, modest. I think in keeping with the the, the times. Um, in, in truth, um, there was no there was rationing in 1953. It's huge economic pressures now. So um, was that related just to yeah, this? Yeah. And then I'll bring in. Uh, so, um, only because I, I sent Mel a picture of it and I'm pretty sure it was this parish wasn't it so uh, I think every school child got a commemorative book but obviously our numbers were a lot smaller in 1953 than they are now and you know and time and stuff I mean you'd be talking you know 10 grand probably to get that for mm -hmm. in London I yeah. imagine so a couple and a mug I remember receiving them so it's not uh, well it's a book uh, I don't remember any so, um, a cup and a mug cup, not cup really but cup really Mm, yes, yeah, can I just kind of come back? Uh, this is a tea party, there's not going to be any champagne or um celebratory alcoholic drinks. This is Thatcher, this is Thatcher, but we modest uh, orange juice and tea. Uh, totally, uh, I, don't, I don't anticipate alcohol at all. At all. Not even bring your own. I can't, I can't tell people not to, to bring it. Bring it up, but we won't. Well, the cricket cricket club oh, may yeah. wish they wish to open their bar and make some, make some money. Fundraising, make some money out of it. But um, I'm sure if we suggested it, to uh, pick them up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeremy. Yes. Um, basically, during the Rotary Santa Fun Run, um, there were donations uh, of drink and other things from local uh, supermarkets like Waitrose and Petco's. Actually, collected a large. Amount of bottles. I mean, I'm happy as 
councillor who's been in there in the past to see would that be a, an acceptable idea if I approach them on behalf of the council? Uh, but can we you clarify bottles, bottles or? No, no, I'm just saying sandwiches. Um, sandwiches. Like you can get packs, mm -hmm. magnificent packs of sandwiches. Okay. And I would, uh, through you, Chairman, ask the town clerk if it would be um, uh, reasonable to, for us to approach them for that. Might, might, might I suggest we don't get into the detail that events committee would, would get into? That's well, it hasn't been considered their bag. Um, I, I, I would suggest, if, if we may, that we agree in principle and agree the budget. Uh, and then leave events committee or, or working party or however the mayor wishes to to structure it uh, to actually go through the details. Otherwise, we're going to start doing the events committee's job for them. Chairman, I wasn't going to describe salmon or paste or cucumber. I was just putting it forward as an idea, and maybe we can help the, uh, the committee uh, look forward to it. And it's a very good idea, and we will put it to the events committee. Um, to say the page, Mr. Chairman, if you have any more. Can I come back just one? Please do. You're quite right. Uh, these are good points. The cricket club bar, possibly, and uh, the supermarkets. Our events manager has, is in touch with them, uh, and I will feed this back to him tomorrow uh, so those points won't be lost. Okay, thank you. Um, are there any other points or questions? Second, Chairman. Oh, <laughs> right. uh, question. Uh, any any other questions or, or points? Right, we have uh, proposed by the mayor, seconded by uh, Councillor Cotton. Uh, all those in favour of the allocation of £2,000 budget, please show. Thank you. That is duly approved. Uh, we now move to item four on the agenda. Uh, Mayor's legacy tableau. Uh, Mr. Mayor, again, please. Again, there's a, there's a full description, but um, I'd like to at least bring the councillors up today. We sat in this room around about June of last year and considered what we might do to mark the, uh, the Queen's Jubilee, as it was, and the 70 years of her reign. We started with the idea of a tapestry, um, but that is normally seen as an embroidered uh, artwork. And we came up with the idea of scenes of the rain, 15 from her own life, 15 of things that happened in the UK and 15 that, scenes that happened in the world. Um, we came up with, set, put a small working party together of crafters. We reached out to lots of other crafters and we allocated all of the scenes by early this year. Um, I've got three to show you this evening that have come in. We are only six short of having them all finished and every one of those is in an advanced state bar one, but I have no worries that will be completed. This installation, I'll come on to the finance in a moment, will be quite spectacular in its size and scale. Up to 60 people have been involved in these 45 craft scenes and have spent hundreds of hours totting up into thousands to achieve representations of the last 70 years events. It, we've got the hall, Frank Hutchins Hall 1, with a big, big wall, two fairly redundant windows uh, that are always the blinds down on them. And we see this display taking up most of that wall. There isn't much in the town that is like this. We have a small tapestry at the Frank Hutchins Hall, but this really will stand out. We had to get on with it. And in fact, in getting on with it, we weren't sure what it would cost until we started thinking it needs to be framed and then it needs to be mounted on the wall. But as we started to realize there were costs involved, we realized then we would have the opportunity to get sponsorship in to support it. And at the time of writing, we had a thousand pounds in sponsorship to, against the costs. That has gone up to eleven hundred pounds. I'm delighted to announce Xtrack have come through as a sponsor, and I can say this <coughs> carefully. But Xtrack haven't in the past sponsored or supported any of our events. It's nice to have an international company like that associated with it. We have a lot of confidence that over time, not next week, but over the months ahead, 
We will recoup the cost we're asking the council to underwrite this evening, and perhaps a bit more, although we're not, we didn't see it as a profit-making activity. Um, we do plan to do a coffee table type book, maybe about this sort of size, um, with pictures of the uh, panel, what, what it commemorates, and how the crafter went about um, the actual a number of words on the craft and what they did and why they did it and how they saw it. Um, again, the people can take a record of it. I firmly believe, and I may be disappointed, but I firmly believe that our schools, particularly our primary schools, will see it as an opportunity to take children there, point out certain events, and, uh, and have a sort of history experience with it as well. There isn't really anything like it in the town. And if I may just show three that have come in this week, people may realize what that is. York Pool Wall. It's the Six Day Wall of 1967. And that is Mushy Diane, who at the time was a famous general in the Israeli uh, army. And that is a representation which is done in. Uh, the background map is colored in military color hues. I use a variety of mediums from transfers to collage and Joe Sonia's acrylics and art pens. So that is one. The same lady that we did commission also to commemorate the coming of Apple and Microsoft. Those two operating systems effectively change computing grammar. That is a representation, and it's an extraordinary one because in the middle, if you see this, this frame, that was going to be the first Apple logo. Can you see the tree? It would have had Einstein under it, but the apple fell on his head. Mm -hmm. And then Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak decided it was far too intricate, and they ended up with an apple with a bite out. And, histori and historically <laughs> inaccurate. <laughs> it was Newton, not Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> So that's another one. And then close to home, both in terms of who did it, my wife, and in terms of the fact, the first mobile phone call was from Vodafone or Raycall, Raycall Vodak at the time. And we commemorated him with a half brick on one side <laughs> and an iPhone on the other with the Apple screensaver. Masks and quite subtly, we have the, uh, the, the tent gazebo-like structure of the Raycall uh, Vodafone headquarters. <laughs> so that is close to home in terms of Raycall Vodafone, I should say, but also in terms of the event in the 70 years of the mobile phone coming into being. So we have technological advancement. We have events tragic as well as celebratory. And it is going, and, and Mel, sorry, Madam Clark has seen these come through. Um, we are, they're being framed by Simon Jardine. I've got 10 under there, but I won't bore you with them tonight. But we plan to make a big thing of this. On the 12th of May, the Friday evening, we're looking to invite businesses, sponsors, and uh, try and get some more sponsorship out of them in a little cheese and wine evening. We will take the veil off it. We have the purple a uh, uh, sheet to go over it. It's a blooming big sheet, purple being the Jubilee colour. It's curtain lining, hasn't cost very much, but we'll take it off via Velcro and unveil it on the Friday night. Then we'll put it back up again. That's a preview because we plan to unveil it at the mayor making. Chairman, that's the project. You can see that I'm uh, passionate about it and I have spent tens and tens and tens of hours myself uh, encouraging people to get involved progress chasing them when they've hit problems. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be very, very proud of it. Should you elect to support it this evening, sir? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Jeremy? I think that this is an excellent idea. Um, it's something along the lines of the Millennium uh, Plinth, uh, which I get the feeling that a lot of people have uh, taken to heart, and it hasn't ever been oh, damaged in any way. Um, uh, also, I think we don't do too much of it here, but we should sponsor the arts. Um, I, and the more local sponsorship of artistic stability, I hope that there's 
like a recognition panel saying who's done what, where and when. Um, and, uh, and to have something of use as well, of basically uh, you know, a visual introduction to history, even a timeline, which is the same as the plume. So uh, things that have affected us globally, I mean, all of these things, I think, have so far as you presented to myself. So uh, I'm very content and I think it's a great thing to go forward. And I would just support the uh, expenditure. Thank you. Uh, any other comments for you, Richard? Um, sorry, uh, the, the, this agenda item four. Uh, um, I have some comments on these uh, the events that are being um, uh, that are being proposed. Uh, okay. Will you plan to speak more on those, or is it? It's a bit late to change them, but uh, go go for it. Tell me more. Um, well, it's a, sorry to be a bit of an anorak, but I went through some of this stuff. Uh, you've got the, the events in the Queen's life, uh, the JFK state visit. There was I did come to the UK on two occasions, and not found as a state. There was a visit. dinner. Is it? There was a dinner. We represented dinner. I'll, I'll correct it that it wasn't a state visit, but he certainly came with Jackie, and yeah. there was a state dinner. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. quite twice in that. Excellent, 16. excellent. The reason, right. forgive me, right. we used it just to represent one state visit because there were many, many. So it's a, it's a, just oh, a, I, I'm, I'm just wondering if all these events are described and annotated. Yeah, yeah. you're not going to get something maybe like me. Yeah. You're going to say, well, that's not right, and and uh, it's a permanent permanent mistake. That is. Thank you. That's very helpful. Very helpful indeed. And um, but, uh, the, 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 the events in the Queen's life. I'm afraid I. I suppose, well, there's 15, is it? So uh, mm -hmm. my comment would be, uh, if I had something, and I'm thinking of the supposed attempted assassination in 1981 by that fellow Marcus Sergeant who fired yes, yes. the starting pistol at uh, yes. and the troop in the colour. Blanks, fortunately. I would have put that, uh, I would have put that in, I'm afraid, but uh, that's just uh, me. So the, the UK events, uh, Hillary climbs Everest, it's Hillary and Kenzing. Yes, you know, to it will leave be out. Be be this is shorthand, this is shorthand. Oh, short sorry, sorry, Richard, this is shorthand. Okay. But oh, forgive me, I'm going to answer a little bit further, Richard, to give you a, 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 some assurance. I'm writing 200 words of the event for the book, and Tenzing Norgay is certainly mentioned and will be on the honours board as well. Okay, just thought that it's important that we get things uh, uh, right. I'm no fan of the um, Green and Peace camp. I would suggest we omit that. Uh, but um, uh, the, uh, and insert instead England winning the World Cup in 1966. That is part of, so, so that is part of the 60s events and cultural changes. It's a montage of the 60s. Including the Beatles, uh, including the Mini, oh, the Beatles, yes, 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 um, and and the Green and Peace Camp, sir, yeah. uh, is done, is framed, and is sitting under that table. Over so it's done already. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think, to be fair, um, while you may have some misgivings about it, it certainly is something that uh, encaptures, encapsulates the Cold War in many respects. I think, and how it affected this area. Perhaps, you, perhaps they could hold a football somewhere on the uh, painting to uh, give a... Yeah. You'll have to wait and see. Um, what else? There was some... Uh, the, the world events. Um, I would suggest you have the Berlin Wall going up in 61, then coming down in 89. Um, so and it does. does. And, it does. does. and after there. the meeting, sir, I will show you it. Yeah. Um, and I don't... I'm no fan, a great fan of uh, Nelson Mandela. I wouldn't want to... Uh, him, I'm afraid, included in uh, the scene of world events uh, from our satisfaction okay. perspective. What, why, sir? Why? Because I don't think it's of, of any great importance uh, uh, for uh, the worldview seen from uh, Thatcher. Thank you. Okay. Very much. Um, they aren't all related to Thatcher, obviously, aren't you? No, no. Mandela, not this. <laughs> Yes. Uh, sorry, one, one, but I can't resist this. Could you hold up the uh, the 67 war one again? That's a rather good answer. That's uh, 
General Diane, wasn't he? He's was prominent. Moshi Diane, he was. Uh, uh, afterwards, he was asked uh, what he would have done if uh, the Israelis had, um, had lost the, the Six Day of War. And he thought for a moment and said, I start again in my wife's name. Sorry, I started. Very good. I start again in my wife's very good. name. Like it very much. He's the same solicitor to them. <laughs> let's, let's, oh. let's move on. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Richard, for, for the input. Um, so, Mr. Mayor, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, in, in regards to 4I, um, for us to give approval to install in it in the Frank Hutchins Community Hall, I'd be happy to propose that. Um, I just wonder, and it, we, can, we can do it another time, but I just wonder if it can change the name of Hall 1 to something like the Jubilee Room, if it's going to have something like this in there. Um, you know, because it's still the Frank Hutchins Community Hall as a as a whole. No coronation. Coronation. Coronation Hall. Coronation. Yeah, I mean, it was for the Jubilee though, this project, wasn't it? This was for the Jubilee. Yeah, and for the Queen Jubilee. Reign going back was rather looking forwards. Yeah, and I rather like the Jubilee Hall. Yes, yeah, Jubilee Hall. Yeah, rather yeah. than um, Hall One, which is a bit general. Yeah. Mm. So, so I, okay. Well, I propose that we 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 approve the installation of 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 the works and that we. Change the name of Hall One to the Jubilee Hall in recognition of the artwork that will be installed if the motion is carried and seconded. Seconded. Thank you. Uh, anybody wish to speak to that before we take a vote? I think I've, I'm tapping into Richard's um, accuracy there, and I probably will run the words to the book by him if he's right. interested. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, but he, the the scenes were put in there for information. Um, rather than deciding which ones we would do because they're in the can, basically. So, uh, just be sure that, that Mandela stays then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this wasn't a vote on the 15, uh, 45. Uh, this was a vote on the uh, expenditures of underpinning the project and the erection thereof. Right. Um, so we have a, a proposal for, for one. Um, that we approve the installation uh, and rename Frankel Hutchins Hall number one. It is a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, Jubilee Hall. Uh, if there are no other comments or clarifications, uh, could I have those in favour of that motion, please? Unanimous. Thank you. Uh, we now move on to 4.2. Um, we are asked here um, <laughs> for sanction for expenditure of up to a thousand pounds. I don't know, Mr. Mayor, rather than um, us uh, do a thousand pounds now and come back to the question um, when the installation goes up and we need the board with the, the names, et cetera, whether you would wish us to uh, underwrite, not grant, because I think a large amount of it will be underwritten um, by the, the sponsorship. And I, I know, for example, that Rot Rotary are intending to take a, a page in the book or half page or whatever it was, um, and also uh, list of sponsors. So that's another 200, so we're 1,300. Um, and hopefully that will that will rise, uh, but I defer to you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Um, the thousand pounds is for the actual mounting on the wall. There's quite a lot of carpentry, uh, framing, uh, and quite a lot of, of labour there. Um, actually, we do have to add to that the other cost of the framing, which is in process. Uh, so the, the the cost you see earlier in the report, uh, actually in the report itself, are as close as we can be to them. Um, so the, yeah, the costs are there, including the thousand pounds building in installation comes to four, five, six, one. We have eleven hundred of that back already. Two hundred potentially, if Rotary come through. Uh, I'm hearing another one might be coming through. Uh, the White Hart Fetchum. Uh, we could be up to fourteen hundred, just while we're sitting here in a way. Um, so we really do feel we will recover this £4,561, um, and that is our mission in many ways. So I think, what we're, if I may make an amendment, we are asking for the, the committee 
to support the expenditure on the report of £4,561. Uh, I, I, if, if you will allow me, could I, could I have the word underwrite? there as a, as a council Absolutely. And, and um, because I feel it is an underwriting it's not sanctioning the expenditure per se because as you say well um, some will will come back may, may I just seek a clarification please on, on the one that kind of leapt out of me a bit but you did um, mention the purpose of it because I, I misinterpreted the purpose of it um, the the cheese and wine um, event that is part of the plan to raise sponsorship. So a two, two small sponsorships, if I can use the phrase, um, of £100 each would cover the, the cost of that. One sponsorship, including uh, an element in the book, would, would cover the, the, the full cost of, of that event. Apologies, I'd misinterpreted that as being... A, a cheese and wine event to launch it, in which case I would be respectfully suggesting the mayor's allowance would probably be better for that. Um, but if it is part of the fundraising effort, um, can you just... It's uh, throwing the seeds on the water on, or, or down in the, in the soil for sponsorship on the preview, the 12th of May. That's that pre preview event. We invite businesses as well as sponsors to thank them and others to try and get on board. We'll have sponsorship forms on the night. We'll be asking them perhaps to sign up on the night. Um, so it's all part and parcel of recovering that money, sir. And yes, you're right, the council is underwriting it, but the signs are very good. People coming forward to sponsor this who haven't sponsored us in the past. They will have their logo on the wall, uh, so they get that and they will be in the book either as a line item or if they spend the £200, they get uh, a quarter page um, and the book, we're going to print an initial 150. Uh, so it's all part of this process of uh, gathering uh, interest and exposure for it, but getting money back from it and for it as well. Thank you. So um, I have a, a proposal for uh, council to underwrite with the expectation that the full amount will not uh, required by any means, uh, the sum of £4,561 uh, for the, the tableau. Uh, does that find a second, uh, Jeremy? Does that, um, sorry, does anybody, oh, sorry, are you wishing? Second, Dean, it, but I thought. Second, are you wishing to second or? Second. Right. Uh, and does anyone wish to speak to it or were you? Well, I, was gonna, I, was, I was gonna potentially make an amendment. Hmm. And it might be that RNA can pick up the cost of renaming the hall out of, out of their budgets. But if then, hmm. you know, because we're going to have to get, a, so it might need another couple of hundred quid added on, is what I'm thinking, to get a plaque made. But that's not to do with this event as such, you know, it's out of the RNA or Frank Hutch budget. But yeah, I, I would say so. I'd so. be very happy to accept that amendment. Okay. Uh, are there any other comments, thoughts? Questions before we take the vote. Right. Could I ask for those in favour of that motion, please? Unanimous. Thank you again. Uh, we now come to item five, long service awards. Uh, just to ring the changes a little. Mr. Mayor. Um, it seems like I'm just coming out in the handout tonight. But let me tell you how this came about. I went to the mayor making at uh, Newbury Town Council in the Corn Exchange, and I felt a little embarrassed uh, that they acknowledged uh, staff and councillors who had been uh, there giving their services for more than 10 years. Um, with actually what, what, it, what it is, is, is a, a ribbon and a, a sort of medallion on a ribbon for councillors um, and an award to staff similar, a certificate, and they made a fuss on. And at the same time, by the way, they also had some uh, entertainment, some uh, nice discreet uh, band there. Um, and I thought, well, shouldn't we be a little bit more ambitious in our mayor making? But, and there will be some entertainment at the mayor making on May the 4th. But I thought, oh, uh, May the 4th. I thought we ought to look at introducing long service awards. Let me read a little bit from the report. And I, I got this off the interweb. This is not just me. 
Recognising staff and members helps build a sense of team spirit and shows appreciation for people who have been loyal to their council and their community and over a significant period. This recognition can help boost morale and engagement by rewarding people for their dedication and good work. The staff here, there are two, to my knowledge, that have been here over 20 years. One of them is our esteemed clerk. And there are councillors who've given a lot of time without reward uh, for many, many years. Councillor Owen Jeffrey came on this council in the mid eighties. I came on this council the first time in 92. Um, and I think you, Jeremy, probably preceded me. You did. And there are others. So this amount of money is more expensive because we have to catch up. And we should catch up. We shouldn't say, oh, well, we started from here. Um, but realistically, there'll only be one or two people qualify each year. And the net cost of an individual is about £150. That is for the certificate in a frame. It is for a pen that they can use with a town council inscription on it. And it is for what we call a medallion. And I think there should be a picture of it. Picture of it. No, no ribbon within. Uh, sorry? There's no ribbon, is it? Sorry, for you, There's chat, No ribbon it? on it. No, it's band. more like a pin badge. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it is of a good value. You have the setup costs, which is a one off. Um, and, and I've looked at our the, 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 the little badges we give out. And we'll give one for community award. We'll give one the, the mayor for the mayor can give them and gives badges out saying, thank you for helping this year. You know, they're smaller than actually what an ex-mayor gets. So I'm not sure we're as we're, we're as good as we are on this sort of, as we could be on this sort of thing. And I am proposing we start by um, getting up to date, giving acknowledging people who've given a lot of service to this, this council, both staff and, and councillors, at the 10-year mark, the 15-year mark, the 20-year mark, 25-year mark. Goodness knows if it'll ever be a 30-year mark, but who knows? That is my proposal, and uh, I, I put it wholeheartedly to you, even though it's quite a sum of money, because we have to catch up and we need to acknowledge people. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Any, Richard? I just seek clarification on how our uh, term of service is uh, calculated. Does it have to be um, continuous or can it be intermittent, such as uh, somebody like me elected one year, not the next, and then coming back later on? Mayor, any thoughts? I would see that I would look and say if you have 10 years, whether it be one period continuously or, or in two or three bites, I believe that would qualify. But I, I hadn't really thought that through, but that's my opinion. I, I would echo that, Mr. Mayor, in that if you've given the service, you've given the service. Um, you know, we're, <laughs> there, are, there are vagaries of... Uh, we all serve the electorate and they decide who's who's going to be on the council at any one time. So um, personally speaking, I, I would say service as service, regardless of whether it be uh, uh, interrupted or not. Um, I have Lee and then I have Jeremy. I was going to say 10 years is 10 years, regardless of how you serve it. <laughs> you know, you've done 10 years of service to your community. Yes, I mean, and I was awarded uh, this for the district council, which came out of the out of the blue, I got a 15 year, so that and that was divided into four and uh, and 11. So, but yes, of course, as, as I said, it doesn't have to be continuous as as you as you the time that you served. Thank you. Just so you can clarify, Leader. Um, just what if someone's done 10 years and 15 years and we're starting it, so for example, for myself, yeah. you know, I'm a whatever, 17 years or something. So it would be one 15 year badge rather than give them the 10 and then give them the 15 years. Like, yeah, no, in terms yeah. of the catch up piece, just to get us all ready. And then after that, you can then start collecting the badges. Yeah. Uh, and can I just clarify again, Mr. Mayor, the, the, um, the, the, the total here would include an element of stop, if you like. Chairman, it, it does say, yeah, we, we think we'll do 15, so we may have two, three, or four in the can for future years. We get a discount on 15, um, so it makes sense. And I would like to add also that 
it could be seen through the prism of this being quite a lot of money. Um, and these times are tight. But I firmly believe we should be acknowledging people. And if we're going to acknowledge people, we should do it with a degree of um, value um, and catch up with those who have given long service. So I, I would um, you know, protect it. I would defend it. If anybody were to say this was a, a lot of money, I think it's a good investment. And it shows there will be, forget the politics, forget the color of their badge. We may get some nice young new people in after May the 4th. And um, we should, they should know that their service will be recognized if they do go like us, many of us over 10 years. Can I just ask one technical point? Is VAT included in any of those figures? Sorry, is it? Is VAT included in any of those figures? I'm looking at like a little bit of scots. Can we claim it back? Chairman, I would imagine um, that Georgina has got these figures yes. excluding VAT because we'll be able to claim it back. Right. right. Okay. Um, the, 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 the pens, um, is this right? If you look at the, the pen, you've got certificate and frame 15, 36 pounds, 64, and then 15 pens, 420 pounds. That seems, uh, you know, getting on to 30 pounds a pen. Is, is that correct, Freedom? It is because they are engraved with the Tatram Town Council on them and they're not uh, a biro, they're something that. Uh, Again, somebody could use with a degree of um, pride. Okay, thank you. Uh, Later, did you? I know. Well, I, I we had a twenty fifth departmental birthday party at work for, for the care line department, and we ordered pens, and they come in at that price. But for, you know, for, for for a nice pen, if you want to give someone a pen, you know, you don't want to give them a biro, but you're not giving them a Mont Blanc, you know. So, okay. Um, so we have a a proposal for um, the investigation of long service awards as per the, the paper with the costs also as per the paper. Does that find a second? Lourdes, thank you. Uh, anybody else with any other comments, questions, thoughts? If not, could I ask for those in favour, please, of the proposal? Unanimous, thank you. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this entertainment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.